before she found out who he was. Later, when Rudeus was grieving about Paul's death, Roxy came to his aid and had sex with him, making him feel better. After the events of the teleport labyrinth, Roxy became Rudeus' second wife, and they had two daughters, Lara Greyrat and Lily Greyrat. His daughter Lara has a strong look on her face, but she hardly ever cries. The only time she really cried was when Rudeus was going to Shirone and she didn't stop crying until Rudeus decided to take Roxy with him. She is also the legendary hero that the Sacred Beast is supposed to protect. His other daughter, Lily Greyrat, is also very beautiful, like her mother, and she has similar blue-colored hair like her. Lily and Lara has the telepathic ability to talk with other Migurd tribe people, and Rudeus was surprised because he didn't expect them to have this ability, since Roxy doesn't possess it. After her, he married Eris. So Rudy met Eris at the age of seven. He went to teach her language, math, and magic. After the events of the teleport incident, they traveled together through the demon continent and Millis continent. When the trip was over, they managed to come back. Eris and Rudy had the first time together. The next morning, Eris was gone. This caused Rudeus to enter a state of depression and contracted erectile dysfunction. Later, after five years, they reunited after battling Orsted and Eris became Rudeus's third partner. Due to Rudeus's low skill in swordsmanship, Eris became his partner and swords whenever they set on an adventure. They had two children together. Ars Greyrat and Christina Greyrat. So Ars Greyrat is a big purple, just like his father Rudeus and his grandfather Paul. But other than this, he is also a very strong swordsman. His sister Christina Greyrat is daddy's girl and listens to him rather than to her mother's. Rudeus was skeptical at Christina's attitude when she first attended Ars Academy as she was naive. We also have Richard in the family. So, despite having a scary view, Richard is very kind and friendly. He always helps children no matter what the circumstances. He would go berserk when people try to hurt him. Richard follows a very strict warrior's code of honor that he would go to extreme lengths to fulfill his promises. He is also described as rather stubborn, having a very adamant sense of justice, so much so that he won't tolerate even minor crimes during his debut, regardless of how it may look like to those surrounding him, which also causes misunderstanding